Okay, now just a little video on the uh, Harmony. Um, the concept being that, um, you know, instead of the larger black screen when you get 65 inch, you know, it's, it's quite a bit of black mass that can be on the wall. Um, you know, it, it's nothing aesthetic about a black mass. So the idea is to make it look more interesting. So whether it's on the wall or the floor, uh, the, the speakers, which are even more powerful, um, they look as part of the design, not like these, why, why are these big speakers below the TV? Um, so it looks very interesting when it's on and off. Uh, it's also nice that it's um, in the 65 inches, you see it's, it's quite low. So I know you'd have to have a wall paint, painted or patched, but you can put art up there. So there's another option, you don't have to patch and paint. You could actually put art up there. So it makes it interesting that the wall doesn't have to be dominated by, um, by the uh, television. Um, you know, again, to give you some perspective, you know, um, sorry, I'm standing next to it and it is below my hip. So, um, you know, you know, again, we're, we're talking, you know, if, if I'm sitting, sitting down, you know, uh, right now, you know, the topic is about eye height sitting down. Um, so, uh, again, that's the interesting perspective of the design. Very interesting. You get fabric or wood again. Um, and then when I turn it on, um, I can even tell it my favorite position. So now it is uh, unfolding. So the speakers unfold. Uh, I also have the motorized stand on this. That's an option on this one. And so it is turning and unfolding at the same time. Uh, again, completely silent, just beautiful, majestic. Um, let it go all the way down. It's uh, actually one motor. Uh, Bengals is just amazing with their engineering uh, that one motor fluidly sweeps this all through. Um, so it's just, you know, they've been making motors for years and uh, you know, it, it will just last the test of time. Um, and when I turned off, again, as far as angle, that's about the maximum angle, by the way. It's not 90 degrees like the eclipse on the wall, but certainly an angle enough that really from, you know, if you were sitting almost shoulder to that wall that the TV's on, you would have a good view and the same the other way. Uh, keep in mind, the angle will be determined a little bit by how far out you put it. Uh, if you put it really close to the wall, then you're not gonna get much turning angle with the uh, motorized base. Um, here, you can see it here. Uh, the depth of it. So we have it about, you know, a foot and a half out from the wall and we got that angle. If we, every inch we push it in, it's going to get a little bit less of an angle, but you'll still probably get about a 25, 30 degree angle, even if it's against the wall, uh, based on the design. Um, and that's about it. You know, it's the same story as the Eclipse though. You know, it's part of our multi-room. You can add speakers in other rooms. So you get something like this. I can uh, have the same song play in the kitchen as here. Um, you can also um, start the music, sorry, get you dizzy here, uh, on the Eclipse. And uh, I, what I didn't show you is the app. So here's the B&O app where unlike on your um, uh, Horizon, you can't do this, but on the Harmony, um, I can uh, go here, Harmony 65. I can then go and actually choose music here. Um, so this is in the Bang & Olsen app. I can choose a song, um, choose to play it, and uh, turn around here. Uh, the music, uh, you see the little white light there, turned on. Um, it's playing Deezer. The, in this case, these speakers are turning on, but the TV stays in the down position um, so that, um, turn it off here, so that uh, you don't have to um, have it up while it's playing. And uh, if I want to do multi-room, I already turned it off there this is where I could join other rooms. So once I'm playing music there, I could join the other rooms together just by hitting the plus sign. Uh, and your Horizon TV will show up here. So if you're playing music on the Eclipse uh, or Harmony, uh, once the music's playing, I can hit the Horizon and it will join that television to it. So it'll play the same song. Uh, what you can't do with the Eclipse though is start the music. So that means uh, that that's the limitation of, uh, sorry, not the Eclipse, the Horizon that you already have. So does that make sense that the Horizon, you can't start the music, but with the Eclipse or Harmony, you can start the music and then join it to the Horizon TV you already have. Um, I can control volume separately in each room, um, all of that. So again, I have uh, music here. I have internet radio stations from around the world, and you can also do AirPlay and Google Cast to all these things as well. Uh, here's a little cool remote control we came out with. It's just an added piece that I talked about for music so that if I uh, don't want to go to an iPad, I can just walk up and touch this on the wall and control the volume and such there. Um, 
that's about it. 